Hello plant people, my name is Nora. Thank you for being with me today. I want to share with you how I take care of my plants. I just love, love plants. And I've recently started growing most of my plants in a semi-hydroponic setup. I use Lekka as my growth medium. I started doing this a few months ago and I have learned quite a number of things along the way that I would love to share with you. But I also, I'd also like to learn a lot from you guys as well. So I'm just gonna be sharing a few things that I do with my plants and please feel free um, to let me know if you do anything differently, um, why and what works for you. So today I'm just gonna show you how I move my plants from soil into lecker. Because as you know, if, you know, when you buy a plant, you buy a plant from a nursery and it usually comes in soil. So you have to know how to move it from soil to lecker. It's, you know, a little transition. Plants might not like it so much. So it's, it's a really useful skill to have. So today I'm gonna to be transitioning my big ZZ plant. I've had this plant for a few years now. It's, you know, just been trudging along, not doing anything spectacular. ZZ plants can be a bit notoriously slow. Uh, and it's been in soil, one of the few plants that I've got that is still in soil. And I would really, really, really like to move it to Mecca. And today is the day. So I've got my little ZZ Zamicro over here. It's been living in Lekka for a few weeks now. Um, it seems to be doing really, really well. I love to put my plants in clear pots. And as you can, you can see the roots through the pots and you can basically see what's happening with the plant and you can examine the root health. And if there's anything untoward going on, you can quickly intervene. So that is my little Zemicra. This one is my ZZ Jungle Warrior. So a bit bigger, leaves are a lot bigger than the Zemicra. And as you can see, it's darker. It looks a bit like the ZZ Raven. This one over here is the ZZ Raven. And look, to be honest with you, I'm not yet quite sure what the difference is between the Jungle Warrior and the ZZ Raven. I would love for somebody to tell me. But anyway, um, ZZ Raven has also, Jungle Warrior, sorry. ZZ Jungle Warrior has been living in Lekka for quite a few months now. Uh, I've even had some new growth there. And yeah, as you can see, that plant looks happy, um, loving life. So it is possible to have a succulent like plant living in Lekka and being happy and actually thriving. So that's Jungle Warrior. This is the ZZ Raven. I love the look of this Raven against the green of that pot. It just pops. Um, yeah, I've also had this one in Italian Lekka for a few weeks now. Um, it's doing okay. Uh, it's not unhappy. It's yeah, roots look okay. There's no root drop there. So yeah, um, ZZ Raven, loving life. And then of course, I've got my little, little ZZ Zenzi. She's so cute, don't you think she's so cute? I just love those little curled up leaves. And it's just, she's just awesome. I've had this one in Lekka for a few months as well now and she has given me some new growth. So I know she's doing really, really well. Um, I can see, I mean, you can just see the tubers on there. You can see them in there. And you can see there's no root rot. The plant is happy. And yeah, that's, it's possible to have a ZZ plant in Lekka. You do have to be a little bit careful with the ZZ plant when you're transitioning, because as you know, a ZZ plant does not like to have too much water. And of course, the whole point of semi-hydroponics is that the plant is kind of virtually living in water. So it's, it's a little act, a balancing act that you have to play. So when we transition the plant from soil to lecker, we're not immediately putting it in a very, very deep reservoir. So you need to be very careful as to how much water you put there. So I'm gonna talk you through how I transition my ZZs from soil to lecker. Okay, so obviously to transition a plant from soil to lecker, we need a plant. 
So we've got our ZZ plant that is still living in soil. That's the one we're going to transition. Now, what else do we need? You need some leka, which has obviously been washed. You wanna wash your leka outside so that you don't get clay dust in your piping. So we'll, I'll, I'll do another video that goes into um, detail as to how you prepare your leka and all the rest of this. Today, I'm just giving you a quick run through as to how you transition a plant. So we're gonna need leka that's been washed, that's been pre-soaked for at least 24 hours. I like to soak my leka for at least 24 hours. And that's just really to allow the leka to absorb um, the water. So when you put the plant in the medium, it's not dry. What I also like to do, this is a little tip, is when I'm soaking my leka after I've washed, washed it, I actually like to soak it in a root enhancing solution. So I generally use um, growth technology Clonex clone solution. So this is a, you know, it's, it's a good nutrient for cuttings and seedlings. And I use this just when I transition my plants from soil to leka to help them get over the shock. And it's an easy transition for the plant. So you just mix this five mils per liter. I've got some that I mixed here earlier. Five mils per liter, I put the leka in that solution, let it soak for at least 24 hours. So that lecker is full of all the CCS goodness. So roots develop, plant with good roots equals good happy plant. So we need lecker, obviously. We are also going to need a pot. Uh, this one is a 20 centimeter pot. It's a clear pot, but what I also like to do with my pots is I like to put holes in them. Ventilation. Really, one of the things that's really, really great about semi-hydro is that your roots are not living in a heavy soil medium. So they're able to breathe with the leka. And it helps if there's actually holes through which the air goes. So I like to make these holes. I make these holes with a soldering iron and I just sit there and it's surprisingly very mindful. You should try it. Uh, because we're transitioning a zizi plant today, I am not going to have a very deep reservoir. Really, this works just as well because I'm going to put just a little, just to keep that leka moist, not too much because I don't want the roots to get root rot. So let's get to it. This is going to get a little bit messy. So I'm gonna put my gloves on because I'm gonna be dealing with soil and I don't want to ruin my nails. Let's go. Uh, now, this plant has been living in this pot for a really long time and I'm not sure how easy it's gonna be to get it out. I might have to sacrifice the pot, I might have to break it, but we'll see how we go. So let's go. Um, all right, just try and gently shake that out because you don't wanna break any of the stalks. Label out. Very, very gently. Oh. Ooh. Look at that. Ooh. It's very earthy. Oh, very, very earthy smell. Lovely. Woo! Woo! You got it! I got it! There you go. And look how magnificent that is. We could actually make a few plants out of this because it's very easy to split them because it's, you know, you can just separate the tubers. But that's not what we want to do. We want a bushy plant. So I'm just going to take as much of this soil off as I can. Look at that. That just, you know, comes off. So does that. I mean, I could essentially make one, two, 
three, four plants if I want it. But that's not what I want. I want one big, big, bushy punch. I'm not gonna get that and wash it off. So I'm now going to wash all as much of the dirt as I can off these tubers. Um, that. I feel you wanna use water that's a little bit warm because can you imagine just stepping into a very cold shower? That would not be a very nice thing to do. And you want to put your plug on so you're not getting all the bits going down your drain. Because that would not be very nice. So I'm just cleaning as much of the soil off as I can. I'm getting all the dead bits off, so things like that. Just get rid of that, we don't need that. So as much as you can, I like to take this opportunity to give the whole plant a little wash as well. So. Especially when you get a plant from a nursery and you kind of, you know, you don't want to get any pests from there. So it's very easy when you're working in a semi hydroponic situation to just duck the whole plant and wash it. So you get any nasties off. So there, that's what, that's the kind of, close that for a bit. That's the kind of clean that we're looking for. So I'll just go ahead and do the others. Because as you remember, it's four of them. So we're trying to get as much of the organic matter off as possible. And if there are any roots that are looking a bit, you know, not too good, you might as well go ahead and take those off because they're gonna die off anyway. And you know, the less organic matter you can have living in your letter, the better off your plant can be. So, you know, that as you go, don't need you. So my plant is now washed and clean and ready to go into lecker. So grab my pot. I've got my lecker there. You want to get you want to put the lecker into the pot at least a third of the way into the pot. So that's the lecker that's going to be exposed to the nutrient solution in the reservoir and the roots are actually not going to be actually not going to be in direct contact with that solution. So you then get your plant and place it sort of how you want it. So as you can see, I've got the plant in there, roots are there, and I simply fill the pot lecker. I feel that all around you don't want any dead spaces because uh, nutrients and water get to the root by capillary action and for, in order for the capillary action to work the lecker actually needs to be touching. So if you've got a dead space the roots next to that dead space won't be getting any water or nutrients. So I'll fill it up right to the top. Probably want to give it a little squeeze just to make sure that the lecker has gone everywhere. Probably put a little bit more. I'm going to separate that just a teeny bit just so 
I've got a little bit of room to grow and I'm not too proud of it. So as you can see, I now have my ZZ plant sitting securely in a pot filled with mecca. So this is my growth technology um, CCX Clonix clone solution. I will pour it into that. So it's a very small amount and that is all. That is the reservoir that I am giving this plant. And I will put that there. And that's what that looks like. And I will keep this in there until I start to see the lecker roots come through. And that's just, if I need to top it up, I'll top up the reservoir, but I don't put any more than that. And eventually she will become like all her friends and she will be beautiful. So these are all my ZZ plants. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. Please feel free to ask me any questions. Please make any comments down below. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Thanks a lot. Till next time. See you plant people. Bye.